Today, Triple J came out with its second analysis of the gender disparity in the Australian music scene. And although we're a long way from having equal numbers of men and women, it looks like we as a nation are heading in the right direction. In some areas, the gap has gotten smaller, but marginally. Some of the more male-dominated spots in the industry were again the artist and record label manager positions. Despite that, there are slightly more women working in the independent music management circuit, which went from 20 to 23% this year. But across the rest of the industry, the figure has tipped towards the gents. It's now sitting at about 60% male. Public board members on peak music bodies in Australia have also become more male. Staff at Triple J stations has remained pretty even. Meanwhile, Triple J Unearthed remains Triple J's most gender diverse station, with the most female feature artists, J Award nominations, and the representation of female artists in a typical week's programming. The number of females registered amongst APRA's 87,000 registered members remains at one in five. Although this is a slight increase from last year, this is still pretty dire as APRA is the body that ensures that artists get paid royalties for their work. Speaking of APRA, both the APRA Awards and the ARIA Awards stayed pretty much the same this year, giving two thirds of its nominations to exclusively male acts. The ARIA Hall of Fame Award remains almost exclusively male, but we might see these positive changes reflected in this award in years to come. In positive news for new music creation, females received more grants from the Australian Council of the Arts last year than males did. Interestingly, although the Triple J Hottest 100 for 2016 was about two thirds male, the ARIA Top 100 Singles Chart and the Apple Music Best of 2016 were clear female majorities. As for festivals, which is something that we've covered here before, it's pretty clear that male dominance is still across the board. Laneway again in 2016 topped the list for female acts with 36%. Falls and Splendour in the Grass weren't too far behind. Groove and the Move fell last year to only 21% of its acts featuring at least one woman. Credit must be given to the EDM heavy festival Listen Out, who went from one of the industry's lowest rate of female acts at 9% to 35% this year. That's a trend that we would love to see continue. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Jess and you're watching The Brag.